What's up, everybody? Just thought I would give a quick Gus update and garage update on what's going on around here. Uh, well, Gus, we're trying to get ready for a big show up in Issaquah, Washington, which is about a five-hour drive from here in Salem. Um, so far, well, Gus has been sitting since 2012 we bought them a little over a year ago and haven't really done too much on them till recently just because he's been waiting his time because we had other projects going on but what we've done recently is got rid of the ugly stock 16 inch wheels and put some factory truck rally wheels on it that I did some trading with on a friend I painted his his blazer and did the weekend job and he gave me the wheels um, and then put a belt on him <laughs> that was looking a little ratty and making lots of noise and we've done rear brakes I've sorted out most of the wiring I still can't get brake lights for some reason. I've checked all my grounds and bulbs and fuses and all that. But still can't get brake lights. So I gotta go have somebody do that here soon and take it to the exhaust shop and have an exhaust put on them. But for sitting out behind a barn since 2012, he's doing pretty good. Um, in here, the 37 Shelby is almost done. When I bought, I'm the second owner of this bike. Um, when I got it, it didn't have this tank, which holds batteries, to and a and the switch for the light, the horn and light that goes right there. Wire through there, fender. Anyways, didn't have that on it so that came from a totally different bike and matches the paint this guard same thing it didn't have a guard on it and I found an original paint guard for it and the rack the rack matches but it somebody's over sprayed it with some different color and I can't get it off but it still matches the patina pretty good um, then so this is kind of the middle of the road bike. Not quite a deluxe, but it's pretty fancy for the day, 1937. Recently, I found this bike. It's also a 37 Shelby, but it's a um, standard model. This one, I have a picture of this when my friend pulled it out of a Wisconsin barn. And... Uh, Kind of cool, all covered with gook and stuff, and he he got it rideable. And I, when I got it, I repacked some bearings and stuff. But, so standard model, no rack, no tank, no provision for the little wire that goes from the tank to the um to the light. So that one's almost rideable. Um, the chain guard forgot to get packed in the box, so I'm waiting for that and a couple nuts. Uh, Damien's bike, we've made some pretty good progress on it. Um, it's now got its chain. You could actually pedal it if you want to stand up on the, on the pedals because we're still looking for a seat post and clamp. They're kind of a odd size. This is a, um, started out, I found this Schwinn frame. It's a 1949 Schwinn frame. 1950 Murray front fork, which we might swap out. Um, somebody gave me a trike kit. So, and then I bought a cheap, uh, OCC chopper bike for the back wheels 
and then I did some trading for the front wheel and all three tires. So it's got a little bit wider tire than a regular cruiser. The Monarch, it's just kind of hanging out waiting its turn. That bike rides really, really good. But we're going to do some paint touch up on it. Um, Connie's little hot rod three wheeler and my road bike, which we haven't really ridden much because we've been riding the old stuff. Um, what else is going on? Oh, so this stuff here, this is going to be part of our gate. We bought a gate. Well, got given a, um, like a universal gate that uh, adjusts to any size you want. You just put a 2x4 in it and then put your boards. And we're going to put that right there. And then uh, here shortly, we got some chain link. And we're going to do... A fence out here we're gonna um, well we're gonna put a wood fence right here so it matches the neighbors and then chain link this all the way around and then that way um, when I get my garage put up which is gonna go right next to the other one um, we're gonna try put an 18 by 25 foot garage for Gus so he has his own garage and I can actually open the doors up on each side without having to worry worry about banging into something um, so I think once once I get the um, the brake lights sorted out and the uh, exhaust put on. Um, the reason I only did the back brakes is because we're gonna um, convert it to disc brakes, power disc brakes in the front and lower it a few inches. Give it the hot rod look. Um, you know, so yeah, we got, that's all going outside. Um, back through here other little outside project we got going on is I start I started digging this stump out last fall when when the weather was nicer and then it, the weather got all icky so I kind of I kind of abandoned that project but I think we're gonna get back on that here shortly I got to take that one out. Um, yep, we're going to have this one ground along with two over where the garage is going. Um, yeah, we're getting ready to start tilling this up to get Connie's garden going. Um, I need this one ground. Or I'm actually I'm gonna dig this one out. Same with that. That there is actually a stump that I cut down and it's trying to grow back. So we gotta trim that back and then I'll dig it out. And then that guy. So. And Connie's got her whirly gigs out. She just put those out today, I believe. So yeah, outside the garage stuff, we're starting to get get going on the outside stuff. So. Don't show my bro one. <laughs> Your bro, yeah, one one. One of them's a little lopsided. Yeah, she's been busy. Got all her... 
I was just doing a video about the blueberries and the flowers being from Paula. Yeah. And I'll just add it to this so that we don't have to put two right now. That'll work. Um, the dragonfly over here she had and he actually turns green when he lights up at night. Yeah. Solar and, powered. And I got three white and two red and I put one in each bed for the little twirlies. And those three blueberries at the very end were my friend Paula's as well. So, memories in my garden of my friend. Yep. And we gardened together a lot. So. Alright, well that's all for now everybody. Thanks for watching.